What's up, everyone? It's me, Mark McCune here, coming at you with another video. And, um, I want to do 30 days of Halloween. Um, and I have to do these. I have to get these up every, um, um, I have to catch up on with the days. This is October. So basically, this could be October 1st. Um, Amity, could be the Amityville Horror, the original. And it's just going to be reviews and stuff. Heard a lot of other YouTubers doing it. So I got my. I got my Amityville Horror trilogy. As you all seen in my horror movie collection, part one. Um, this has got all the films in it. But we're only going to talk about the first one. And the the original, and it, this is it's this one right here. Um, I have it on Blu-ray. Thank goodness. And this is the only pack I realized that it has the 3D only for the remake. The the 3D one only comes in this pack. I just realized that. Um, but remake sucks. The acting sucks. It's a good movie, except the acting sucks. But this is the Amityville Horror, um, the original. Now, a lot of people love this movie. I don't blame them. I love this movie too. This movie's got horror, gore, not gore, but horror. Um, it's got that feeling that that creepiness that you want in a horror movie when you have the lights off and you're watching a movie in the dark. You want to feel that shiverness down your spine. You want a real scary movie. And this is, this, when I, to be honest, when I first saw this, this scared the hell out of me. It really did. Because this house actually does exist in real life. And I don't know if this is based on true events, but James Brolin, Margaret Kinder, and Rod Steiner from the bestseller that made millions believe in the unbelievable. Terrifying, frightening, definitely a house that a do audience will enjoy visiting. So you can visit this house, and I really want to, but anyways, let's get to the movie. If you have not seen this movie, then no spoilers. Um, you might want to click off this video right now because beware. Um, what you want is the the guy and the husband. And they have a daughter. Um, I believe so. And the house basically she starts hearing things, or he starts hearing things. And the husband starts hearing things too, and it gets inside of his mind. And he starts to lose, out, get out of control, and starts to murder his family. Um, it's kind of like The Shining, you know, Jack Nicholson. Um, you know, but how he had the axe, and you know, I'm not talking about The Shining in this video, but I'm talking about the Amityville Horror. But the Amityville Horror is. One of the, it's a classic. It is a fucking amazing movie. One of the greatest horror movies I've ever seen in my life, if not the greatest. This movie, you can watch over and over again and not get tired of it. And this movie is 119 minutes long, so you know. Um, been, it's been two hours, I think it's almost two hours long, which is. Plus, it's got a little bit of the Exorcist, the original, because a, a priest, a priest comes in and tries to bless the house, but I don't think it works. So the family has to get out, and they do. Eventually, they do. Um, but it's just the basement they go into is where I think it says kill them um, or something. The husband always like he's always a it always attracts him down there and he always try it. I think something's buried down there. Um, I'm not for sure. I haven't seen this movie in a while, so I'm not positive about everything in this movie. But this is a terrifying movie. If you love horror movies, if you love just plain 
haunting horror. This is perfect movie for you. And um, I'm not gonna talk about the sequels. Um, I'll talk about them in a different video. But this is just for the original Amityville horror. Um, for the 30 days of October, 31 days. My bad. <laughs> um, but you know. I'm going to get a, a lot more horror movies next week for my birthday. Um, so then I'll have enough to do a part three um, collection, my collection part three. I still have a bit on the shelf that I have not showed you guys. I do not have. Um, some of them you guys probably saw, some of you didn't. But you know, I did the re-upload versions of one and two. And different ones that I've never I found in the ones I've never showed you but like I said this movie is great it's the actors are terrific very act very good acting special features um, audio commentary by dr. Hans Heuser fills D and far for God's sake get out Documentary with stars James Rowland and Margaret Kinder, theater cool trailer, radio spots. So it's got good special features on here, on um, the DVD version or the Blu-ray version. But like I was saying, in different movie packs, a lot of the movie packs don't have special features, and that sucks because it's a shame. It comes with the movie, very good movies, but they don't have the special features. I like the special features. I like to go into the documentaries and how the movie was made and how and tr extra trailers, you know, to look at it maybe so I can get the next good horror movie that comes out because, you know, I'm one of the biggest horror fans of all time. But, you know, for God's sake, get out, guys. Get the fuck out of this fucking house. This house will tear you to smith smithereens, man. Please get out. This this house will control you to kill anybody. <laughs> I mean, honest, it will. So, and I, I just love the graphics for on um, this movie. Well, it's Blu-ray, but you know, even the DVD version, you know, it has great quality, um, great sound, everything you want in a horror movie. Um, ghost haunting movies. There's slasher movies. There's haunting movies. Um, ro romantic horror movies. Um, classic horror movies. And this is a classic. But I'm t no, but I'm not talking about the classic classics. I'm talking about I'm not talking about the classic. I'm talking about classic 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 like back when 1960s like or 1800 like. When Frankenstein came out, Dracula, um, you know, the uh, the Wolfman, you know, back back in the 80s and 90s where they had um, black and white horror. But um, I don't have any of those. I have to get them, you know. For me, I feel like a retard because I have all these other classic movies and newer horror movies, but I do not have the original 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 horror movies the one the movies that started horror in the first place the the movies that started the horror genre but anyways this movie is terrific if you see it in the stores pick it up i guarantee you you'll love it um if you don't then i, I don't know what other good horror movie you want i mean if you prefer the remake more than the original, something's wrong with you. But, you know, that's just me. That's my opinion. Um, of course, my opinion don't matter. Um, but it matters to me. So, love this movie to death. Um, I have the newest one um, that came out about a year, two years ago. Um, that will, I will reveal that. Don't worry. Review that. I mean, don't worry. Um, this is 31 days of October, or 30 days. Let me... Uh, that's... But anyways, I think there's 31 days of October. Yeah, there is. So 31 days of Halloween 
horror movies that I will be reviewing every single day. And you know, that's just in the audience, the is per perfect. If you guys want to get a group of friends or anything, you want to watch this movie in the dark, as great, like, audience will love it, trust me. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it for this movie. Um, it's terrifying, frightening, that a horror movie, like I said, you want in a horror movie. A lot of these remakes, horror movies, they have, the movies are great. Don't get me wrong, the movies are great, it's just the acting that's terrible. The acting is just way point off. Like, that's why Rob Zombie's Halloween um, 2, it, it's awful because of the acting. It wouldn't have been, a it wouldn't be awful at all if the acting was better. That's why I, I enjoy Rob Zombie's first Halloween because it's not good acting, but it's a little good acting. As long as it's got a little good acting in a horror movie of the remake, and that's all I want. That's I'm not a big complainer. A lot of people can't stand um, Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake. Personally, I love that remake. That remake was so good. Same with Friday the 13th. And, you know, but anyways, Animal Horror, guys. The original. Um, let's see. What was this? 1979, guys. This movie was made. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this review um, of the Amityville Horror. Like I said, if you find this movie on DVD or Blu-ray, maybe DVD, go to a cheap store. Um, maybe Dollar General, Dollar Tree, um, Family Dollar. Um, maybe even Walmart and them $5 bins. Or Best Buy. Best Buy is kind of expensive, but they might have it on sale. You might find it on sale. Target might have it. Um, just... Um, maybe Big Lots, if you guys have a Big Lots, um, if you guys have an exchange, which is, that's where I'll probably be going, um, Barnes and Nobles, I'll probably want to be going there, because that's a bookstore, but it has movies, and they're like, there's a lot for $5 movies, they're like $5, like, you can't beat that. Um, some of them, a couple horror movies I got at Dollar General, or like, two some dollars, like, three dollars for like the house on the end of the street house on the left never mind I think it was the house on the left the house at the end of the street is Jennifer Lawrence that place correct me if I'm wrong but hope you guys enjoyed this video the Amityville Horror pick it up for yourselves it's a really good movie hope you guys if you do I hope you guys enjoy it hit that subscribe button if you are new please like and subscribe if you're new you know and Hope you guys enjoyed this review, guys. And reveal horror for life. Peace.